refuse compromise. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. This week we've been talking about what it takes to journey into new ground, to move into new territory, to move into our destiny. And we're considering several different biblical insights on how people journeyed into something God had promised for them. And in our reading today from the scriptures, we consider Moses, who was brought up in Pharaoh's house. He had everything going for him. At the, till the age of 40, you can imagine uh, being taken care of uh, as uh, uh, Pharaoh's, uh, uh, one of Pharaoh's family members. Uh, he was raised up uh, as a son to Pharaoh's daughter. He was, he was nurtured. He must have uh, enjoyed all the luxuries and all the pleasantness of the palace. He was cooled. He was trained and, and educated in all the wisdom of Egypt. So that the Bible says that he was a man mighty in word and deed. And so uh, he had everything going for him. And at the age of 40, the Bible says in Acts chapter 7, that he suddenly realized it says it came into his heart that God had raised him up to be a deliverer for his own people. So Moses suddenly understood uh, and, uh, the call. He understood his destiny. He understood the whole purpose behind everything that had taken place in his life. That none of this was uh, just happenstance, but God had set this up uh, so that he could do a great work for the kingdom of God. But now here was the challenge. He had to move out of where he was into a destiny he knew was awaiting him. He had to get up. He had to go out. He had to uh, journey by faith. He had to advance boldly. All kinds of things, uh, uh, all kinds of uncertainties and, and obstacles may have been there. Uh, and yet, this is what Moses chose to do. The Bible tells us, he refused to settle for the riches of Egypt. He refused to settle for the, ple the treasures in Egypt. He refused the pl passing pleasures that he could have enjoyed in the palace. And he chose to move into his destiny. It meant he was stepping out into new ground. He, it meant he was stepping out into new territory. He had never been this way before, but this was where destiny was awaiting him. This was where the call of God was leading him. And he refused to settle for the passing pleasures of sin. He refused to settle for the comforts, the luxuries of Egypt. He refused compromise. He refused to settle in for the, the, the things that he could have enjoyed. And he chose to take the path of risk, of suffering in order to enter in to his destiny. There are times in our lives we have to make similar choices in order to take new ground, in order to move into a new territory, in order to move into our destiny. We refuse compromise. We refuse the comforts, the passing pleasures, and the present riches in order to move into something higher, greater, and better, which is the call of God on our lives. Let's pray. Father, we ask, that you will give us the grace, the courage, the boldness, the strength to refuse compromise in order to take new ground, in order to move into new territory, in order to move into the call that you have for us, into our destiny. Empower us to do it, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.